left when we last left our heroes. We had successfully managed to crash land our ship, one of the four remaining ships in the entire Earth fleet, right into a planet. Along with like two of the others. Or well at least one of them. Then we're going to check up on now and find out that it's pretty fucking fucked. You can even see it smoking from here. Hooray. We're great at our job. Yeah, I don't think that one's gonna be flying anytime soon. Oh, hi, guy. Hey! Hey! Give him a hypo spray. Hey! Hang in there! Scan him with your tricorder. Did the other Give him a phoenix down. Make it. Define make it. Be careful. The insects aren't the real danger. What? We crash landed on the scene, made landfall, and scouted the area around us. That's when we found it. It. It? What did you find? A meteor fragment. A meteor? We brought it back to the ship. What's well, left of the ship? Search. But everything. Just went to hell. That that's why I destroyed the ship. Oh, you did that. You destroyed your own ship? I had no choice. Why? Why would our own men? Your own men? Where's the rest of the crew? I self-destructed them along with the ship. Stay away from it. It's dangerous. What happened here? Stop shaking him. It's okay. Please try not to talk. This planet is far too dangerous. You've got to Didn't they teach you anything about moving a injured person? Or rather, how you're not supposed to do that? Come on, Edge. Uh, what? What? What is that? That's not one of ours. Yeah. It looks like some kind of transport. Raimi's just so animated as a character. Hey! Is this man from that ship? Do you speak English? So I can see Deutsch? Hello, Spaniel? Nihongo Wakarimaska? Um, where are the others? I see. Edge and Raimi, is that right? Who told you? Wait, uh, maybe you can't understand what I'm saying. Hmm, is there something wrong with my translator? Um, no, we understand. We're just you. really dopey. I've come to collect you at the request of Mr. Grafton. The captain? Look Quick, someone play the Jaws music. Oh no! What the hell is that? I don't know. 
don't know. But in any case, it certainly doesn't look very friendly. No, it doesn't. Watch out, here it comes! A space crab. Just keep your No one told me there would be giant enemy crabs in space. His name is Armor. Right? So, I mean, he decided to his name down. Oh, 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 stop it. Man, how do I activate rush mode? Not triangle, not square, not X. Not R2, not L2. Not L1, not R1. Oh, did I do it? Ow. Ow. to that one. Back in rush mode. That face is almost dead. Forty percent more experience. Maybe now I can be of some help to everyone. Now that's what I'm talking about. Daily training is the key. Look at him, level five. <laughs> is it safe? Well, at least he's not touching with his bare hands. Yeah, seems to be. Probably ought to take it back as a specimen. It must.
might have something to do with what happened to the Arania. Thank you. If you hadn't shown up, we'd have been in trouble. Oh no, not at all. If anything, it is your incredible skill. <laughs> incredible skill, he says. If only I was able to fight like you. By the way, you are... Ah, do forgive me. I haven't told you my name. I am FaZe. FaZe Shifa Baleth. I am an Eldarian. An Eldarian? That is correct. Oh, one of the Eldar. In terms you might more easily understand. I am what you so might are you Cinderin, Noldar? Alien? <gasps> Wait a minute. So when the captain was talking about them... He meant you alien, uh, Eldarians? We Eldarians have been in contact with your Earth for somewhat more than a decade. Good job almost wiping yourselves out. We started with observational crosstalk. Eventually, we were able to confirm each other's existence. I'm not surprised you two were unaware of the situation. It was a matter handled with the utmost secrecy, after all. I see. Our crew here was out on a planetary exploration mission, just like yourselves. Through sheer coincidence, we happened to be investigating a nearby star system. That's when your USTA contacted us for assistance. Good job fucking up your ships, possible. by the way. Talk about astronomical odds. No kidding. Thanks a lot. I'm Edge Maverick. <laughs> You can call me No, Edge. no, seriously, what's your real name? And my name is Raimi Sionji. You can call me Raimi. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mr. Maverick. Edge? Raimi? First of all, we'd better report back to Captain Grafton as soon as possible. I'll be happy to take you back. Please, climb aboard. We appreciate it, but... I'd like to scout this area a bit more before I going saw back. some crabs. I want to see how they taste. Very well. Allow me to accompany you then. What about that? Ah, you mean my soul? With this. <laughs> and it will see never be seen again. Brainwaves and return of its own accord. No, well, it's not for like half the game. You really are from another world, huh? <laughs> Let us be on our way then. Please join the party. By spa phase, of course, I mean. Let's see. Whoops. Oh, uh, eight characters. Why can't I get capitals? Oh, there we go. He a space elf. He's a space elf wizard. I was just getting warmed up. Bring him on. We must make the most of our train. Now you'll see what I'm made of. I 
I'm not sure if this is where I have to go. Come on, let's do this. Just keep it I know I can't go back the way I came because I just don't know how to do a goddamn pull up, but. Should we go up the beach or down the beach? I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Maybe I should check the map. Huh. I fucked up. Oh wait, can he do a... No, he can't do a follow-up. Seal. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Aha. Blueberries, oh boy. Alien blueberries. Inside of a glowing pod. I hope they're not radioactive. Flowers. Let's harvest some. Here we go. No, it turns out they're just vegetables. Not flowers at all. Maybe I should try to learn how to play a character other than Edge. I've already been here. Okay, let's clear out. Where's the way to go? This is the way that I came from. Yeah, this isn't where I want to be. Right, okay. Ah, no. Damn it. Oh, I straw ahead. All these mining points that I can't actually access yet because I don't have mining. That just means I'm eventually going to come back here, doesn't it? 
We're not done with this planet. I guess we haven't figured out what's so dangerous about it yet. I mean, I was just getting warmed up. the captain Bring of the crash ship said that it wasn't the insects that were the problem. Or even the meteor. He said the planet itself was too dangerous. What could he mean? Unfortunately, in all my attempts of playing through this game, I haven't gotten far enough to find out. Well, that's going to change, damn it. I'm gonna beat this damn game. This being here when I left. I love how the menu is like a unfortunate explosion of color. What is this? That's another area for a line base. They're built in prefabricated units so that they don't take much time to set up on the field. Amazing. Hi. Captain Grafford's in the communications room with most, with most of the with most of our captains gone. He's about all we can count on right now. Anyway, why don't you take a look around the base first? You can talk to the captain afterwards. Oh, what's in here? You know what? Let's, um, uh... Turn off depth of field. There we go. Ask me anything you'd like about this exploration base. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Oh, that's a lot of questions. So, what's the happy haps? I hear the cushions are out of this world if you ever need a place to rest. Definitely swing on by. Really? Cushions? A lot of them are addicted to table tennis lately. The shopping area is located beyond the northeast store. Once you exit to the central area, there you can exchange currency to buy food, equipment, and other essentials. We've only got the bare necessities for now, but I expect much better selection before long. And speaking of selection, you should check out some of the girls they've got working there. Delightful! The storage area is located beyond the northwest store. Once you exit to the central area, it's basically a temporary storage facility for medicine and research equipment, as well as food and other goods delivered from outside the base. Plus, it's nice and cool inside, and nobody ever goes in there. It's just an ideal spot for ditching work and taking a nap. I like this guy. The research and analysis laboratory is located beyond the southwest storm, once you exit this to the central area. It's like a completely different world in there. It smells of all kinds of chemicals, and they got all these tanks filled with things. I bet, I bet they drink their coffee out of beakers, too. That's how smart they are in there. Communications room is located beyond the northern door once we exit to the central area. The group here on Eos is in constant contact with the moon base, so there's more people in there than in any other, any other area. Commander Grafton and Supreme Commander Gagan, Gagan? Seem, expe seem especially busy right now. You don't believe how much Commander Grafton goes on about his child, as he's showing everyone pictures non-stop. Sigma is located beyond the southeast door once they exit to the central area. 
If you ever find yourself hurt or not feeling well, that's the place you want to go. They usually have weekly checkups for the entire staff, but now they've got their hands full with the SRF crew alone. Thanks for getting yourselves injured, by the way. Make sure you check out the nurse there. She's what you Earthlings call a knockout. Neat. Oh, I hope you don't need this. Olive oil and uncooked pasta? What's that doing here? What else can I borrow from these facilities? Man, everything's just so busy looking. I feel like I could actually see it firsthand with like a first person camera or something. Oh well. Where am I? It's all my fault that Trace died. Why do I have to be such an idiot? We're out of here and get back to my. Oh! Ugh. You need to rest for now, alright? For Trace's sake. You can make up for it after you're better. When I woke up, there was this alien right in front of me. I know how they work. She'll act all nice and helpful, and then when I least expect it, she'll attack me. Just like those bugs. Alright, alright, now try and get some rest, okay? That's not going to happen. I already took a nap. Welcome. I'm sure you've been briefed already, but my name is Ari, head doctor here at the exploration base. It's good to meet you. We have some beds open here and in the living quarters, so if you're tired, feel free to take a rest. Okay, her dollar doesn't change. When I woke up, I found myself in here. I thought my number had come up for sure this time. Still, I gotta say, I'm surprised. I had no idea whether there was a civilization out there that was this much more advanced than ours. It's sad to go and cover me. I'm hurt, I'm scared, and I've never been thirstier in my life. Now I know how powerful these aliens can be. We gotta destroy them before they destroy us. Hi, Donald. I don't really know what's going on, but at this rate, I think I'm going to get my own ship. Haha, <laughs> farewell, grunt job in the SRF. I'm going to be a space captain. What makes you so sure? I don't think girl wanted a job here, so I'm letting her help out. I suppose you could say we're now a universally integrated shop. Anyway, welcome. What can I do for you? Got your iron. Hmm. Oh, wow, I have money. Well, I have money for now. Another board with an automatic trajectory correction feature that enhances the user's accuracy.
No, 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 everyone knows how to use first aid. I know we just arrived, but I decided to help, to help out here. Is there anything you need? Just let me know. Do I need some uncooked pasta or raw animal meat? Sure, why not? Or am I out of money? Oh, I'm broke again! Oh, man. Oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. Horrible fallout bow, an innovation of the SRF. Its use of is dwindling, and its old fashioned weapons like this are fast becoming obsolete. Hey, Raimi, I sold you a bow so we could buy some animal meat. You're okay with that, right? Alright, I can toggle by walking and running. Why, hello, Space Elf. It's wonderful to see you back. I was worried, you know. Have you all been to the shopping area yet? One of your SRF teammates went to help out over there. I think she's on duty right now, in fact. You should check it out. Maybe they'll have something new for you to buy. I think the plot's in there. And is this where I came from? Yes. This is the medical bay. No, it's not. What is this place? Ah, hello, Earthling sir. So good to meet you. I'm a scientist, you see. I do research here. Ah, yes. I carried the injured crewman over to the sick bay earlier. Oh, there's nothing you need to be concerned about. With Alarian Medical Science, they'll be back on their feet in no time. The path of a scientist is paid with pure knowledge. Traversing it requires curiosity, inquisitiveness, and the desire to learn and improve. Take that path and you will build the bridge to the future. Thanks for the lecture. What the heck is this place anyway? This building, it's like I'm in a dream. A wonderful fever, a dream of science. Whoops. Well, I hope that conversation wasn't important. I accidentally skipped it. What are they researching? Why are they finding mountains to look at? Alright, in this place... This is where I've been for. Huh? What gives? All of a sudden we're in a state of emergency. Is the captain okay? What about the crew? Oh hey, balls is okay. The rest of the crew's got work to do all over the space, but me? I'm just sitting here, bored off my rocker. You want some advice? Reason to let to pick up a balance to reach party member, increase the parameters, got some special abilities. Fighting self on attacks and blood sides. Bursts, focus on defense and rush mode. Neutral gives you crown bonus for strike and burst, but doesn't have its own rank and you won't be able to get any of the extra perks. Poison. And other status elements exist, but I only know about poison. Oh, okay, great, thanks. Yeah, cool. Not very helpful, Balls. Oh, 
Okay, now I've finished all of the areas, right? Except for the one where the plot is. Yeah. I remember the dude with the purple hair. Ugh, I didn't even have any time to mourn before getting carted over here. They sure don't waste any time. Uh, I guess I'll go outside and cry a bit. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I want that girl with you getting jealous after all. Um. Okay, Rosa. Oh, Space Elf, I've made you so safe. I thought you were dead for sure this time. You don't sound like you were all that worried about me, Kay. Oh no, of course I was. Just trying to be polite, you know? Polite, right. Ah, oh, by the way, I think your captain wants to talk with you. You best go see what he wants. Wow, that face. Oh, there he is. Well, what do you think of the base? We're working our hardest to get this plant developed. Feel free to have a look around. I see. So the Aramia and her crew were... But why? There's nothing unusual. Something definitely happened on the Arania, sir. The surviving crewmen said as much. And then, there's the matter of the unidentified life form we encountered out there. The one that the came from the dude's body? I believe there must be some connection between them. Supreme Commander Gagan, may I request an analysis of this object? Very well, I'll see to it. The matter interests us greatly. Are the shoulder pauldrons really necessary? Are the ascots really necessary? So, were you surprised? About the aliens, or rather, extraterrestrials. We prefer to be called Eldars. Surprised is not the word, sir. Just look at this base they're constructing. Indeed. All of this is thanks to the Eldarian scientific capabilities. Sir, you were aware of their existence, weren't you? USTA command and we captains were, yes. So Crow knew too. Of course he did. He's good at that. You never can tell what secrets he's hiding. Unlike someone I know who's like an open book. Shut up, Remy. With matters being as not in from the A L I E N in a co-exploration effort. USTA headquarters has approved the plan. Consider yourselves informed. Sir, understood. Effective immediately. I would like you to form a composite team with Faze here. Faze may be young, but he has incredible potential. What he mainly lacks is experience, and this will be an excellent opportunity for him to gain some. If it's not too much trouble, may I ask you to work with him? It's far from trouble, sir. He saved our lives with his powers. It was almost like magic. Symbology. Ah, yes. Symbology. That is but one of Faze's many talents. I do hope you'll help me in bringing out the rest of them. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. And, uh... You all must be tired from your efforts. Feel free to get some rest. Is Faze wearing a corset? Come and talk to me when you're ready to accept your next assignment. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Space Sephiroth. Out of my way, civilian. What? What's with him? He's scary. That uniform. He must be with the 13th That's the uniform? Of the armored division. A captain, it would seem. I've never seen him before. But you don't hear very nice rumors about the 13th. <sighs> Man, that guy means business. Oh, 
Okay. Guess the Saiyan contribute to the effort. Don't you need my help much anymore, but if you do. Oh no, don't tell me that everyone's dialogue has changed now. No. I don't want to read through all that. I'm actually on track with the work everyone else is doing. I think I better hold off on item creation for a while. Well, I'll try to anyway. Actually, what am I doing right now? Inventory is full. Where's the plot? I don't know how he did it, but one of my patients escaped when I wasn't looking. I'm sorry to bother with this, but do you think you you could find him for me? He's with the SRF from the Belin, I think he said. Oh, sure. Alright, I can't leave my post here, so I really appreciate the help. Once Sandy and I are back in shape, we'll be right back out there with you. I guess I'll be undergoing rehab here for a while. Pretty much what I figured. Come on, who do you think you're talking to? I'll be fine! Must have matter of rehab and I'm run but right back to my post on the ship. I don't know if the ship's destroyed or not. Whoa. If I'm going to be captain, I better whip this space into shape first. I'm going to need all the space I can get. The next generation of space captains are counting on it. Hey, snap out of your little fantasy already. What do you... You can at least pretend to be doing your job. Are you the guy I'm looking for? No. I think I remember the guy being out here somewhere. I stuck away from the alien for a bit so I could have a look at the ocean. Never seen the real thing before. Amazing, isn't it? I'm at a loss for words. It's totally different from watching it on video. Huh? The alien was looking for me. <sighs> Alright, I want to see her a while longer, but I guess I'll go back for it today. It looks like they finished constructing the bridge just north of the base. They'll provide no access to a few new areas, so keep it in mind next time you're over that way. I'm afraid the repairs on the Callus aren't quite complete yet, though. We haven't finished gluing the wing back on. The little decals are so hard to handle, they snap right off. Oh, Space Elf, there you are! Hmm? What is it, Rose? Gagan was asking for you to come and see him. The Commander? Understood. I'll go see him at once. Thank you, Rose. Think nothing of it. This is my job. Now, now, off you go. I get my reward. Thanks for finding him for me. You think it was only enough he'd sit still for half a second? I can't keep my eyes off him for a moment. Now, how exactly should I thank you? Hmm, how about with this? Whoa! Aw, oh, that's cute! You look so innocent! 
staring intensifies. No, Remy, it's nothing like that. I wanted to stay here a little while longer. I always wanted to get to know Earthlings, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. I told the doctor I wanted to go back outside, but she got angry at me. Then she said she'd tell me about the Eldar if I stayed put. I want to know about their oceans, their sun, their planet, what they eat, what, what life is like. I want to know everything. I sense a love story. Speaking of... By the way, do you think I stick out too much in the crew? Do you think I carry on like a child too much? You know, too green for the job? But come on, I'm still better than most of the scientists here, right? I don't even know who you are. Hey there, handsome. I'm looking to unlock the next generation of science here, and I need 10 insect legs to get things moving. I'm searching for volunteers for this noble, exciting mission. What do you say? You want to lend a hand? I have a reward. Sure, why not? Wait, why am I saying yes to this? Wonderful! Remember now, 10 insect legs. Come see me once you've got them. Oh, you came through for me! Thank you! Another breakthrough is soon at hand. Here, this is for you. It's delicious. Oh, I can't even take it. I can't get her delicious blueberries. Alright! Let's keep this up! I can't keep being a nuisance forever! Hmm? Unsatisfied, are we? I can have no greater reward than a recovery item, but you seem displeased. Well, in that case, how about collecting eight insect eggs for me, please? It's not all that difficult, right? Come on! I promise I'll make it worth your while this time. Sure. Ooh, you will? Splendid! Eight insect eggs, alright? Thank you! Ooh, let me finish. Oh, well, let's try looking for them. I don't have that. Oh, I do have that. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. It's surprising how handy these antidote items are. I mean, unless you're a physician like Irie, you can't cure poison by yourself, you know? Nice items, nice science. Oh, I see you them nice. Here, take this. This is the bonus? Talk about backwards. Thanks again! I apologize for sending you out on these errands. I'll be sure to prepare a wonderful present for you next time, okay? That's quite alright, thanks. And the slightest bit of excess in any part of his design. Really? You think the design is... Lacking in excess, I mean, the random spinning things above the door aren't a little bit of excess. What purpose do they serve, honestly? Anyway, back to the plot, maybe, right? Talk to me, Commander. Is there something you wanted, Supreme Commander Goggin? Yes, I was wondering if I could ask you to leave your soul with us here at the base. My soul? Sure, of course. Let me find it useful. Here's the control unit. Aw, come on. Thank you. We'll take good care of it. Please take good care of, of Space Self Edge. I've got new instructions for you. Come. Sir. All the technology in the space self universe that they can't even fix this broken arm. Left, two. Right, one. Clear. Steady, steady. I do love me the designs of the SRF ships. In all the games. Too bad they keep on getting fucking destroyed. They repaired the Kalnus. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way.
Sup, Esclario. Yeah, I'm trying to get through this game one more time. This is like my fourth time trying to get through it. Maybe the third. The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. I can't remember if I tried to get through it once or twice on the Xbox or PS3. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick! Maverick! You're the captain of the new Calmus. Oh, boy. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. Why? The official order should arrive soon. What? Now, let me brief you on your mission. The new duties of SRF-003 Calmus and her crew are as follows. To seek out new life and new civilizations. Unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Sheep of Aleph of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too, sir? Make sure he doesn't get into too I much trouble. The three of you were already a team. Yes, sir. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your orders, sir. Listen, Mr. Maverick, I know exactly what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. We'd have to be to All promote you to captain. The class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I too have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leaving. We're doomed. How about it, son? You accept? I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help Edge. That's Commander Together, Edge. We can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be Commander a Edge. Commander Maverick. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but thank you, Raimi, FaZe. I am honored to accept the position of Kalnus Captain, sir. Man, no one in this entire you Space Federation knows how to get the hair out of their eyes. I pray for your journey's success. Sir! Oh, hey, did Hyrule Warriors come out on Switch? Oh, I'd better give you this before I forget, Edge. A monster jewel. It's called a monster jewel. You can you can imbue it with the data from a monster. We need to collect Apple data from a monster beforehand, however. You can see all the data you've collected on monsters under the monster section of the collection. It's menu. Every time you defeat a monster, you raise some knowledge on that monster. Once the knowledge is set percent you can imbue a monster jewel with the data from that creature. Successfully imbued jewel can be equipped as an accessory, grinding the wear effects based on the monster contained inside. Ooh. I don't think I ever used that. All three of my prior times trying to play this game. The Aldarian's technology is just startling, isn't it? What if they installed a the fully equipped bath I could use? Then I'd have nothing to complain about. Oh, you'd find something. The Eldarians even updated our plant. Oh, yeah. And our bar stools. The wonders never cease. Oh, boy. Hey! Oh, boy. Yes, sir! There I am, blooming as a beautiful flower. You 
the garden shears away or I'll slap you. You've already been contacted, <sighs> right? This is our new Eldarian crewman, FaZe. I would be job. ignoring you what quite you a lot, thank you. Skills. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Faye Shifa Beleth, an Eldarian. Look at this, even the rookie is completely unfazed. You kids, I'll be damned. You could try to be at least slightly businesslike when you meet new people, Welch. What, what is it? <laughs> it's a little late to be surprised, pal. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Mm hmm. You don't look very different from us at all. I thought you'd be all like, you know. Rawr! Give me the taste of human meat! I. I'm sorry, FaZe. She means well, I think. No, it's all right. I'm quite used to false. You're racist bastards. Oh, I'm just kidding. Sorry, fake. Wait, fade was it? Anyway, fail. Space elf. Right, right, fade. So about that monster? Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. Earthlings? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. So be careful you don't get eaten, okay? Ta ta for now. God, I hate you. Come on, Welch. Are you trying to traumatize him? Uh, just so you know, that's her idea of a joke, okay? Uh, of course. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. So do I have time to blast off? Seems to be a potentially habitable plant within warp range. Shall we travel there? Uh, you know what? Yes, let's. Main engine ports connected. Well? How does the captain's chair feel? So, this is how Crow sees the world. Edge? Being a captain means... You have to take responsibility for an entire ship. An entire All crew. two of them. It's a heavy responsibility. Crow bears this burden every day of his life. Will you stop Good jerking guys. it off to Crow? Look, you're one step closer to Crow now. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Besides, we three comprise the entire crew of the Kalmus. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess we do. So listen, don't let this get to you. Just be yourself. And try not to think that the entire fate of humanity is, you know, day, resting on this, this ship. Properly. I swear it. And the other one. Star Ocean, here we come. Captain, launch preparations complete. He said the Welcome. thing. Ready to depart. All right. Kalnis, engage. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, uh, Faze, uh, since I'm the captain, I'll, uh, I need to know a little bit more about my ship. 
what kind of weapons do we got on this thing? And uh, how big of an explosion do you think they can cause? Oh, by the way, just, the ship's on our pilot through the warp space, so get as much rest as you want. You use this time to talk to people. Or just mess around with your bionic arm, because you have one of those, for whatever reason. Looks like an L-shaped object would fit here, but you don't have anything like that. I don't have an L block. But anyway, that might be enough of this for now. Progress was made. Space elves were found. And I uh, know only too well where we go from here. It's not gonna be a good time, Kay. <sighs> she might be the worst character in the game. Just maybe. Maybe. For that, we'll wait till next time.